in Sitam Thika Road, where Christ is the answer. Welcome to Sitam Thika Road Daily Devotion. My name is Steve Onguko, a pastor at Sitam Thika Road. In the next three weeks, we'll be going through a new series on what Jesus said on the Sermon of the Mount. And we are going to read Matthew chapter number 5 and verse 14 of the way 16. And the Bible says, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but a lampstand, a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that you may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven you know jesus says that we are the light of the world think with me of how a light really has an impact the impact of a light in your house without that bulb without that light you are not able to see a number of things in your house think about it you're driving and you're driving this car and it doesn't have lights you don't know where you're going and you can hit on any kind of thing that is ahead of you. So light plays a critical part in our lives. And Jesus says that you and I actually is or you are that light to the world. You know, being the light of the world, Jesus says that actually if you are the light of the world, you are like a city, you, you, you are like a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. Men and women, they look unto you to provide that light. The same way you look to Kenya Power, when the blackout is there, to provide the light you're able to see, Jesus is saying, you are like that, you are like that light. People are going to look at you. You are like that city. You are like a city on a hill. People are going to look unto you to provide the light to this life, to provide the light to where you're going. Compare the light in a car. It helps you to see where you're going. Jesus is saying that you and I are like the light to be able to provide the direction of where people need to go. And it goes on and is saying that, you know what? No, do they? Do they light a lampstand and put it put it uh, under a basket, but a lampstand and it gives light to all who are in the house? God is desiring that you and I, as the children of the light, will be able to provide light to people around us. We'll be able to provide light to our families. Be able to provide light to our families. Be able to provide light even the places where we work because we are the light of the world. That we'll be able to, as, as the light of the world, we are able to direct people in the right manner. We are able to direct people in the right cause. Think about it again. You know, a car has light. And it's the lights of the car at night that helps you to keep in check on what side of the road are you driving, help you to keep in check on the path in which you're driving. And you, just like the light, you are able to help our fellow believers, you're able to help your colleagues, you're able to help your parents, you're able to help your children, you're able to help whoever is around you to give them the light that they need to stay on the right path, to stay on the right direction that they need to pursue in the light. And, this, and, and, and Jesus is saying, let your light so shine before men that you that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven as you provide the light and this light now in Jesus here is saying it can be in terms of doing good when you're doing good is actually lighting your path is actually lighting your the, the direction that people need to go to when you walk in the ways of the Lord, when you do the things that the Lord requires of you and I to do, then in essence, we are actually lighting that path that people may follow. People may follow our examples. People may follow the ways that actually we are walking in. Jesus is saying this, that we are the light of the world. We need to light and shine a light that God has put in us to fellow men, to fellow believers, because we have found the light and we are the light. And because we are the light, we need to shine our light. We need to shine our light in the places of work. We need to shine our light in our homes. We need to shine our lights in our, with our, in our neighborhoods. We need to shine our light in the marketplace because God has put it in us, not for ourselves. It cannot be hidden in, within ourselves. We cannot hide it, but we need to let it shine. 
because we are like a city set on a hill that everyone is looking to you. I want to let you know this morning that people are looking to you as the light to provide direction. People are looking unto you as the light to give wisdom. May you shine your light that people will find a direction towards God. Allow me to pray for you this morning. My Father, my God, I want to pray for each and every person who is watching me this morning. As they desire, my Father, to light the path that people will follow and to know you more, O oh God, I pray that indeed, Jehovah Master, they'll have the courage and they'll have the wisdom to do so. And I commit them unto you in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for watching, for watching this morning, this first part of this series, What Jesus Says. Please stay tuned next week as we continue the second part of this series. God bless you and God keep you.